Hotties, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Hannah for those who are new. Um, welcome. So today's video is actually going to be a hair care kind of talking a little bit about as far as my hair type, you know, my haircut to, you know, maybe the shortest length I've ever had to all that kind of stuff. Basically anything about my hair. Um, so yeah, this is going to be kind of a chit chat kind of video as far as being a little bit more casual, not really, you know, kind of relaxed kind of video. So, the thing that I'm going to be talking about as far as my hair, I'm just going to start off with the fact that uh, my haircut. Um, my haircut is actually an A-line graduate bob right now. Um, I got it cut like a couple weeks ago. I had actually posted a video about that I wanted to know if you which, you know, which haircut should I get. So, and a bunch of people commented, you know, you should get a pixie, you should, uh, I believe, yeah, two people said something about I should get a pixie because they think I would look good at a pixie haircut. Um, I'd like to say thank you, obviously, for commenting, because I get nobody who ever comments, so thank you so much for commenting. Um, and I can't believe how many views I got on just a video about getting my hair cut. It's crazy. Um, but as you see, obviously, I didn't get a pixie haircut. I got an A-line bob, a graduate bob. Um, for the most part, I've always gotten an A-line haircut, and I'm, that's just a haircut I'm most comfortable with. Um... I, I think pixies, let's, I'll just be honest, I think pixies are adorable on some people. Like, for instance, my sister has a pixie haircut, and I think hers is actually cute on her. But for me, as far as my face shape and everything, I just don't think I would look good in a pixie haircut. I mean, I'm kind of conscious also to the fact that I'm kind of, you know, fat and everything. <laughs> so, the bottom of my chin is kind of, you know, I'm not so, I don't know. And I also have a really huge forehead and stuff. Either way. Just to basically say, I don't think, personally, I would be really good in a pixie haircut. Um, you know, like I said, my sister has a pixie haircut, but her face shape is totally different than mine is. Um, she's a very narrow face. Um, not like me, where I have, like, big, you know, you know, and jawline and everything. It's portion. My face is much wider than my, sis my sister's is, as far as my um, temples and everything like that. So, um, for me, I don't think it would work <laughs> well. Um... You know, but I, like I said, I think pixie cuts are adorable, and, like, if you like it, obviously you should get it. Um, but for me, I just would probably never get a pixie cut. To be honest, I just don't, I've actually had my hair shorter than it is right now, and my haircut was, it was probably actually close to a pixie cut, which is actually kind of how I know that if I don't like it or don't like it, because, just because of the way I remember me having one similar to a pixie haircut. Um, it was pretty short. It, I had a bunch of layers on my hair. It was kind of, it was high up in the back, and it was, it was pretty short. And it was, it was, I don't know, right here, maybe. But, um, no, I just, it was, truthfully, I felt really weird, to be honest with it. When I got it cut, I, I felt like I had to style it to a point where I had to style it so much, and especially the way I dressed. Um, for the most part, I'm not a very girly girl person. I'm... As far as my clothing, for the most part, is very casual and very, like, neutral colors and everything. Um, what I'm trying to say is, like, I felt like I had to dress up to feel like a girl. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, just to me, it just really made me uncomfortable for a while there because I felt like, to some people, that's not really short. And, you know, my haircut right now, it's, some people, it's, like, super short because if they have, like, you know, hair all the way down their butt and stuff, that's, like, you know, obviously, this is really short. Um... But, I don't know, for me, it was just, I remember when I had that haircut, that I didn't feel girly, I feel like I had to dress up, I feel like I had to do my hair in a way that tried to make myself look like a girl. Um, I just remember how I felt, and I just remember the experience of having short hair, in my opinion, that was really short. So, um, I actually don't have a picture of that haircut. I, I, I might have had a picture of it, but I might have deleted it a long time, because it's been a while ago since I've had that haircut. Um, but, um... Yeah, it's just, I'm kind of, I'm basing it on the fact that how I felt and stuff, and I knew, I remember not feeling girly, and I felt like I had to do stuff. I hope that makes sense. I mean, I'm not trying to be, like, be insulting or anything, like, it's not like I'm being, like, 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 pixies are bad and all that kind of stuff. I mean, if you want to have a pixie, you know, that's fine, but for me, it's just, like, my experience of having shorter hair, I would never ever go that short again. Like, my sister's haircut, which is a pixie, which is hers really short, but like I said, hers is really cute, and I think it fits her frame of her face and everything, but I think mine is kind of big, and anyway, but yeah, like I said, I went with a A-line bob haircut, which I was not, at first, really happy with my haircut, 
um, which is actually why I didn't say much about it. You probably have noticed. I didn't really go on here and make a video about, you know, this is the haircut I have and I love this haircut. I just got my haircut, blah, blah, blah. I didn't really make a video about that because I wasn't really satisfied with my hair. Um, right now I can tell it's actually grown out a little bit as far as in the front, which is actually, I kept my hair as far as in the front length. Um, and my bangs, um, I got them like trimmed or anything. I didn't really do anything to them either. Um, I just got a bunch of layers in the back. Right now my hair is kind of crazy because the fact of um, I washed it, took, washed it last night. And I like air dried it and stuff. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm like burpy. <laughs> and, um, and so that's why it's kind of like poofy and crazy and everything. So you can't really see the way it really looks unless I like straighten it or something. But um, I did get an A-line and it is like in a slant. But I am definitely after my hair grows out a little bit from the graduate. Um, which is supposed to be like closer, you know, to your head and stuff like that. Because um, actually, I think it's a little bit shorter than my sister's hair is in the back of her pixie. So, um, I guess it is technically kind of short. But yet, still with this haircut, though, I don't feel like a boy or whatever. I still feel like a girl, what I'm saying is. Um, and that's, that's the thing for me is I just, I know what I'm comfortable with and... I've always been comfortable, for the most part, with an A-line haircut all the time. I've had, actually, an A-line haircut pretty much... This is probably the fourth time getting my haircut like an A-line bob. Just because I, I've always thought they looked good on me. And for the most part, I do think short hair does look good on me. Um, just not too short. <laughs> and then it becomes like, okay, I don't know if I like that so much on my face. Um, but, yeah, I do like the haircut okay, but I'm not super, like, I'm not, I was not, I was not super ecstatic about it as far as, like, being really happy about it. Um, it's not really what I pictured as far as I should pictures. I brought, I bring pictures all the time whenever I get a haircut to show the salon person. I just feel like it's not really what I had pictured in my head of what it was going to look like. So, to a point, I'm kind of disappointed. I was not really happy. Um, you know, and I wasn't going to go back or anything. I just, you know... It's just the way it is. I mean, it's not terrible of a haircut, but it's not exactly what I had pictured in my head. It wasn't either what my mom... My mom told me the same thing. She's like, yeah, it's not really what I thought either. So, um, you know. But that's kind of as far as what my haircut is, as far as what I got. Um, but yeah. As far as, like, the shortest length I ever had, which is probably the haircut I just named to you, which I can't even really tell you what the haircut is. It's not... I wouldn't say it's, like, a pixie haircut, um, it's pretty short, though. It was really short, though. I don't know. It might have been, like, a pixie haircut. It had a lot of, it had a lot of layers in my hair. Um, I don't even think I had a name for it. Um, I just, I got the picture off, like, a book that I had, and I cut it out, and I showed that, and I, actually, the hair salon I'm going to now, I actually, last time that I got my haircut that was really short like that, I got it done in another hair salon, so it's not even at the ha same hair place that I got it done at. Um, which actually the hair place I got it done before as far as the really short like that was, um, I don't know, I think it was called Great Clips or something. But I really actually did like the haircut as far as her job, as far as what she was doing. But, I don't know. This time though, as far as this haircut, I'm not really thrilled about. Um, to be honest, for a while there, I, as soon as I got it cut, I was constantly, I mean, you can even ask my family or whatever, I was constantly saying, oh my gosh, I hate my hair. I hate my hair. Because I was that, I was that, <laughs> as far as how much I did not like it, I was so not happy with it. But now that I've had it for a couple days and stuff like that, it's kind of grown on me and I'm not, I've not, um, I don't know, I don't hate it that much. I don't know. It's kind of just, you know, it's hair, it's going to grow back, so eventually. Also too, I got in my, I got my hair thinned out as well when I got my hair cut, and, um, I hope I'm talking to you guys and I'm not, like, confusing you guys, because I feel like I'm talk ugh, talking about two different subjects, you know, about when I got my hair short, the shortest I've had it, and then me talking about my haircut I have now, so I hope it's not, like, confusing you guys as far as what I'm saying, um, but, <laughs> but the haircut that I have right now, I actually got it thinned out, um, I think that's what I really hated about my hair. It's because I was so used to my volume in my hair that when I got my hair thinned out, which I am actually can tell that my hair has actually got its thickness, the thickness of my hair is actually coming back, which I am so happy about. I, I hated my thinness so much. Like, because people have really thin hair, I really am, like, sad. <laughs> well, I don't know, I guess it's different than when you have really naturally thin hair. For me, I have really thick hair, and when I got my hair thinned out, 
it took away all my body to my hair and I I think I hated that the most like I hate the fact my my hair felt so flat I mean maybe it wasn't maybe it didn't look so flat but on me whenever I touched my hair like when I put my hands in my hair I could tell that it was thin and it wasn't as thick as it used to be and that, I think that's what I really kind of didn't like about it the most was the fact that I didn't feel like I had my body and my hair that I used to have and now I can actually tell that it is coming back because when I do stick my hand in my hair I can feel the thickness in my hair which I am super excited about that. It's weird because I would never think I would <laughs> say that because for the most part my hair is so freaking poofy and stuff and so I always thought I would like hate that but I don't know now that I kind of you know experience as far as me having thinner hair I like volume. I don't know I've always liked the volume though in my hair like I don't know it's weird. I, I remember though a time that I would always straighten my hair and like make it like super flat and stuff and that has not been that has been a long time ago since I've actually done that. I just, I, whenever I straighten my hair though, I always feel like the volume goes right out of my hair. There's no, and, or I have to put like dry shampoo in my hair to make it like more, or either that or tease it to make it more volume. I'm just a volume fanatic. I just, I love volume in my hair. If that's one thing I have to have volume in it is definitely my hair because, I don't know, I just like big poofy hair weird my taste though as far as what I like is totally changed though since now I mean there's things that I liked then that I don't even like now but that's a totally different story I don't even know why I'm talking about that I'm talking about my hair that's what I'm talking about today um but as far as length as far as the shortest length that is probably the shortest length I can think about um and that's like I said that's been about maybe I don't know I could maybe say it was a, it's been a year ago maybe since I've had that haircut I don't know, it's been a while. I think it was I think it was for my birthday or something. I don't remember. When was when when did I get that really short haircut? I remember when I went to the other I didn't go to Hairport, I went to oh, It was a really it's been a year at least. Because it was the one that I said I didn't and we had to like style it or something. I know, I remember. And I actually I did I liked it. I liked it when I did actually style it, like the way it looked <laughs> after we like fixed it, but when it was like just hanging there and no like you know it just did not look good on me I didn't like it I didn't like how I felt but and then again like I said if you want short hair if you want a pixie haircut you know definitely get one but for me I don't think it's gonna work out I just for me I just don't want it I don't know I'm not I don't know I'm not gonna say I would never ever get it I just right now I'm not thinking about getting it right now so but anyway, as far as like, as far as what I use, as far as my shampoo and stuff, um, I've been using actually color treated because I tried obviously just to um, use color just because my hair is dyed. So um, I try to use color treated as much as I can. But I, it's funny because I actually have two bottles of shampoo that are like really full, and I haven't even like used them because they're not meant for colored hair. So I just stopped using them. I think I'm only using it like one time. But that was before I'd even really dyed my hair. It was coming out, the dye. But since I just actually tried to, well, <laughs> we tried to, like, do a ombre, which I actually have the hair thing right here, um, which obviously didn't come out at all, like, blonde or anything. And I actually think, though, it, it kind of enhanced the red that I already had in my hair, which is actually something I think one of my friends told me that it looked that way. I mean, you can mostly tell that it's, like, in the back as far as in the lighting here. Um, but you can't, like, we didn't go up here as far as the darkness, because it's obviously supposed to be dark to light. Um, but yeah, I like this too, because it comes with, like, a brush, too. Obviously, do your hair. But this is cool, because this is also from the dollar store, which, this is actually a second box of this stuff, um, because it actually says in the back that you're supposed to get two of these if your hair is, like, either long or it's thick. So I thought maybe I would have to get two, because my hair is obviously thick. Um... But I guess not because we used, there was still a lot of it in there as far as product in the tube or whatever. Um, I'm not really doing a review about this. I mean, I haven't really talked about this because I don't even know if you guys knew when I got my hair ombre, kind of. Not really. It doesn't, it didn't really turn out as good. It, it kind of just looks like I have highlights in my hair. Um, but this friend that I was talking to actually told me, she's like, if you're not careful, you know, with using that kind of stuff, you can, um, that was really weird. Someone just like drove by. Um, you know, it can turn your hair orange. And so that was something that I was scared about. And my mom's looks, she actually did like a piece of her, section of hers. Hers looks ten times better than mine does though. I wish, I don't know. Mine actually, though, if it looked like hers though on my hair, it'd probably actually look orange. It's more orange because my hair's darker. So it looked like I was, you know, Halloween or something. 
which is <laughs> something, something I don't want to look like. But hers looks really good, but mine just turned out looking kind of reddish. I don't know. I guess it's definitely better though than turning out looking orange like that my friend had told me about. So, um, anyway, I'm just going to open this so I can show you guys. Um, but this is what it is. This comes, looks like this. This is a shimmering developer cream, and that's what it looks like. It just comes in like a, I don't know, it's kind of what all hair dyes, they come with like a little thing, whatever this is called. A bottle. Yeah. <laughs> but they pretty much all come with that. And this is actually shimmering developer cream. Then it comes with a comb, and I love this thing because it's so easy. This is what makes it easy to apply it to your hair. What you do is you squirt the product in here, um, and it has like the really, I don't know, flat ones? I don't know, flat combs? And then it has a roundness of here. I don't even know. I'm not even making sense what I'm saying about. That's kind of what it looks like, though. But anyway, I love this thing because it makes it like the process like really easy to apply. Um, this definitely would look better, though, on someone who had longer hair because you could tell more. But we did most of the product, obviously, at the bottom because it's supposed to obviously be dark to light kind of thing. But it would definitely look better on someone who had really long hair. Um, then I have this, which comes with um, conditioning cream, which some of these things is kind of weird because, um, you know, you expect not to wash your hair. But some of this stuff actually comes with, like, shampoo and stuff. This is conditioner and shampoo. So it's kind of cool. I mean, after you do it, then you wash your hair. So... But anyway, it comes with this. And actually, my other dye that I'd gotten before, which is actually a hair color for my whole head, not like an ombre or anything. Um, which is funny because this it was actually Furia, too, of L'Oreal. The Intense Deep Auburn, which I had before, actually came with something like this, too. That said, it was some sort of shimmering, something like that. But anyway, that's what it comes with. And then it comes with just obviously how to do it. And then, the actually, instructions are pretty simple. Um, it actually doesn't take as far as... Um, I don't know. I think to me though, when I was when I was reading it, it sounded really easy to do. Um, I'm gonna open it. It seems a lot be a lot easier than dyeing your whole hair. I mean, it probably it's probably less timey. Also, too, it's not so much pros like um, product in your hair that you have to rinse out. So that that's easier. Um, also, too, it shows like on the back or on here, where if you want to get like more of a subtle look or more of like a dramatic look, you can go this way, and then you want subtle look, you can go this way. Um, we kind of did more of a subtle, I guess. Um, I don't know. We just kind of tried to use as much product, obviously, to use all of it pretty much on the bottom and stuff, and tried to do put a lot like on the front. But I think most of the product is actually on the back, but you just can't really see it. <laughs> but I think most of it is actually on the back. But, um, I'm glad that it, you know, it didn't turn out like orange or anything. It turned out more of like a, I don't know, turned out more like a highlight almost like in my hair. But that's just what it looks like. Then it came with, let's see where it is. This is a shimmery lightning cream it came with also. Um, and then it has right here, which is actually the bleaching powder, which I was trying to, I don't know if I said this or not. But it actually, this is different than like hair color because this actually comes with bleach. Um, which, this is kind of different from any other thing I've used before, because I don't think any other hair colors actually say they have bleach with them. But this does, so, anyway, I liked that. Also, when I used this, it made my hair, it was really weird because it actually, it has kind of a shiny effect, um, after, you know, I'd done it. Um, it's very, it was very smooth and stuff. I don't know, it, was, it just came out, it came out really well, so, um... But anyway, yeah, this is sh um, Shimmery Light Cream. And then, of course, this is the bleach powder. This is very difficult. You need to have, like, I think, like, a funnel or something. I don't know, something to, like, pour this in when you put it in, like, the... Why can't I not say what this is? A bottle. I don't know, that's a bottle. <laughs> like, I cannot think what this is called. <laughs> but it, this can be very messy because it, like, wants to stick on the bottom, like, in the package. So you have to, like... It'll get messy all over the table if you're not careful. Um, or all the floor or whatever. So, But that is what comes in this. And this was from the Dollar Short. That is, like, really awesome for a dollar. Especially, it's L'Oreal Paris. Um, and I wouldn't think there's anything, you know, different about it as far as it being from the Dollar Store. Even though it's L'Oreal. Like, it's going to be junk, you know. It's not, I mean. Then again. I wish they would have, like, you know, a different color there. Like, they have other hair dyes there, but I've never heard of them before, so I'm not going to, like, use them. Um, the fact that I know that L'Oreal is pretty good, that, um, I wasn't, like, scared as far as using this. 
well, I was when I was hearing people saying, you know, it can make your hair turn orange and stuff, and I was thinking, okay, well, I don't know if I want to use that or not, but, I don't know, it turned out being fine. It's supposed to actually be easier, which is why they have the comb thing, which is supposed to make it easier, but, anyway, and then it shows, actually, because it actually says on the back, it's supposed to be made for light to medium blonde hair, which, obviously, I don't have blonde hair, or light, or medium blonde hair. Um, and also, too, I mean, it says, too, that colors treated hair may be less visible and vibrant. So if your hair is obviously already colored, then um, you applying this, it may not either show up that color or it may show up something else or, yeah, it may not be as bright as far as the color. So, I don't know, but I really liked it and it, obviously it was worth, I mean, it was only a dollar. So, I mean, it's not like, I mean, if you probably would have bought that at, like, Walmart or something, it would probably been, like, eight or something, but... Oh my goodness, I'm like roasting. Why am I like roasting? <laughs> it's hot in here. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna say goodbye because I'm like talking about nonsense. Okay, so I hope this video, a little bit, I hope this video like helped you guys as far as knowing as far as my hair care. And I know that somebody commented about want to know the shortest length as far as my hair care, hair video as far as the shortest length I've ever had. And that pretty much is probably the short length I've ever had, which was it was pretty much right here. It was a little bit above my ear, which to me that's really short. So, but for people, some people, you know, this may be short as far as my haircut right now, which I don't technically call my hair really short right now. Even like I don't know. But some people though that have like really long hair, then obviously this is super short to like get your haircut this short. But I don't know. I don't think it's that short. I think a pixie is really really short. But anyway though. I am semi-happy with what I have. I don't know. I'm talking so stupid. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. So, subscriber, not a subscriber. Also, comment if you'd like to see any new videos. Um, I hope this guy's helped you as far as knowing as far as my hair care routine. I'll probably do another one. I'm, I may not even seriously upload this video because I just sound like a retard. But, um, yeah. That's kind of what... My hair as far as, uh, well, my hair has actually been longer than this, um, but it was like, it's been like forever ago. My hair was as long as I remember, I don't know, it's pretty long. It's funny because I remember, I don't know why this comes to my mind, but like when my, <laughs> when my aunt came and visited us, I remember we went to church or something and I remember her standing next to me and that's how I can tell remember how long my hair was <laughs> because she would she would like play with my hair and I remember <laughs> also this one time I was in my Sunday school class um I wanted to kill this girl like she was like touching my hair <laughs> it was like that was like forever ago though I was I don't know how old I was like 10 maybe I don't know, but my hair was really long, and I remember that she kept, like, playing with it, and then, and it was so annoying, like, <laughs> I guess I could have just said something, I don't know what was wrong with me, I was just stupid, I guess, I don't know, but she just kept, like, I think she was, like, a bus kid or something, but she kept, like, touching my hair and stuff, and I was, I guess I wasn't complaining, I wasn't saying anything, I don't know, but that's, that's kind of what, I, I know, too, because from pictures, I have one picture, though, that's, like, my hair is really long, same thing with my sister's hair, it used to be, like, really, really long. But, I don't know, like, like I said, though, she looks good in really short hair, it's just not me. I don't know, I think my, my face structure is different than my sister's hair is. My sister's hair is. My sister's face is, though. Like, her, her face is much narrower than mine, and I think my structure, my face, not only from the fact that I'm like, you know, but just the fact, just the fact that my bone structure is bigger than, I think, than hers is. She's also shorter than me. And just like her whole, her whole, um, what's the word, physique, or whatever, is smaller than me. I mean, her built is smaller than me. But, um, anyway, I don't know what I even know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I hope you guys all have a great day, and give this video a thumbs up if you liked my rambling. I'm talking about utter nonsense that have nothing to do with this video. So, anyway, talk to you guys all later, so, bye guys.